So one of the things I do as well as selling art is build picture frames. I taught myself how to do this with, with a little help from my father-in-law because I thought it would slow down my uh, <laughs> insane uh, art, original art buying habit, but it has, has not proven successful just yet. Before I started selling original art, I was selling some of these and trading some of these um, for folks. So I thought today, this one's almost done, I'm building it for my friend Colin. Uh, I just need to do, I think, another coat. It's mostly, so this is black walnut. You can see it, hopefully. Pardon my, my messy workshop. I'm in the midst of, they're doing some work down here, so things are getting moved around. Um, but this is black walnut. Uh, I believe I used maybe cherry spline. Splines help the mitered joint, this joint, stay together. It strengthens the joint. But the last thing I want to do is another coat, partially because the frame doesn't feel as smooth as I'd like it to be. So I think I'm going to do a slow, fast, fast up motion, fast motion. Um, last coat for you all to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of the process. So everyone has different ways of finishing wood products, I suppose. I really like using Danish oil because it brings out the natural color of the of the wood itself, and I think black walnut is just beautiful by itself. I don't stain wood very often. The thing to remember about Danish oil is that it's incredibly flamm flammable. It'll set on fire if you leave out your rags too long, so it's good to keep an airtight container and you can reuse it over and over again. I'm going to be doing a wet sanding. You can go crazy with this. You can go down to, you know, 3,000 grit sandpaper or whatever. We're just going to do 600 because it's just a picture frame. You're not going to be sleeping on it or nothing. And, yeah. Always wear... Work in a well-ventilated area or end, if you have it, use use a good mask. All right, I think we're ready to go. So I'm only going to do, this is the third and final coat. Again, you could do this for forever. Um, but really, at a certain point, the frame is saturated, the wood is saturated with Danish oil. And really all you're doing is, is getting it to shine and be, be, well, get it to be smoother feeling. Um, you can kind of see I still need to, need to r rub the, the wood a little bit more to get a little bit more of a shine on it. You can see some uh, spots from where the the oil is uh, kind of sitting on top of the wood. So a lot of the finishing is just kind of using a cloth and rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it. So I think it's turning out really nice. Anyway, I don't know. Trying to make some content. Thought folks would be interested in. Uh, how how to build a frame. <laughs>